Welcome back to Big Old Bell's Barbecue. Today, we're gonna to be dry aging some steaks using our Pro 40 Steak Ager. Follow along to see the steps. All right, so to start out, we're gonna just pat off our strip loin subprimal with paper towel to get rid of any excess moisture. This will help with the aging process. You wanna make sure you get all the moisture off of the outside as much as you can. Next up, we're gonna throw it into our vertical truss rack. I have my beautiful fiance here helping me out with that. We're going to just place it in there so it fits snugly. And then we're gonna tie it up. When we tied this up, we used the crisscross pattern. So you wanna make sure you have a nice knot right at the bottom there so it doesn't come undone and then you're just going to go every other hook and crisscross up and down the entire subprimal When you're finished, you'll have this beautiful looking slab of meat that has nice crisscross pattern of butcher's twine across the top of it. Just look at that. All right, we got our strip loin subprimal sitting there ready to go into the Pro 40. We're gonna dry age it for about 35 to 45 days. Stay tuned. All right, so inside this Pro Series dry ager, we have the vertical truss rack holder. Okay, we can just slide the whole vertical truss rack inside the Pro 40. It sits in there perfectly. It can hold the weight. You can put up to 40 pounds in there. It'll be perfect the whole time. So we're just gonna set it in there, close the door. And now it's the hard part. We gotta wait. Today, we're at one week of our 45 day dry age of this strip loin subprimal. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Waiting these first seven days was probably the hardest seven days I've had to wait in my entire life. Look at that meat. It has changed so much in those few seven days. Just wait till we hit 40. Hey everybody, let's take a look at my meat in my steak ager. All right, this is week three. Let's take a look. Wow, that's all I have to say. The pellicle on this, it looks phenomenal. We have some nice color going. We've added a few extra cuts of beef, as you can see. Whew, I can't wait to get a try. We got about three weeks left of our dry aging. Today, it's the great day we've all been waiting for. We're at week six, 40 days of dry aging our strip loin roast. Okay, we're gonna kick it out of our dry ager. We're gonna cut it up. All right, I'm just as anxious as you are. Let's get it out. Wow, that's all I have to say. You can watch and enjoy for yourself. All right, it's time to prep this so we can cut it up into steaks. We gotta take all this butcher's twine off, and once it's off there, we can really have some fun. All right, let's get it out. Let's take a look. For my first dry aging experience, this is unreal. Ooh. Man, I'm pumped. All right, let's cut through this pellicle, let's crack it open, and let's take a look at the inside. Ooh. 
You already know we got that second camera angle just for everyone's enjoyment. Oh, 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 look at that dark red color. Wow. Now this is exactly what we've been waiting for all these weeks. Let's cut these into steaks. Let's trim them up. And let's get ready to eat. Beautiful. I still just can't get over the amazing color and look of this dry aged beef. All right, so when we trim these steaks up, what we want to do is get off any of the hard pellicle from the outside of the steak. Now, we're not going to throw that away, so don't worry. We're going to keep it, freezer bag it, and we're going to use it later when we're making some ground beef, hamburgers, or pepperettes. Okay, we want to make sure we get off as much as we need to because you really can't eat it, and it just becomes unpalatable. So we want to get all of that off there because as well as it being unpalatable, it becomes unenjoyable when you're chewing and trying to eat your steak. And who wants to ruin this amazing experience that we're about to have? And there you have it, our fully trimmed dry aged steak. Let's do the rest. All right, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with what we do each week. We'll see you next week.